The next effect we're going to add is a smooth glide back to our starting position. So for now, we've got the random and straight back. But let's have a random and then a smooth glide back to where we should start from. So let's use the down arrow for this. So when down arrow key pressed, shift these out of the way a bit. When down arrow key pressed, let's glide ah, back to our starting position, all right? So make sure we're there. Our A is in its starting position, and that's where we want to glide to. If they were all random when I'd done that, they'd all glide to their random positions. And let's just copy this across to save a few seconds. Because then for each of these, I need to drag out their own glide one second to. There we go. That should have done it. Let's have a look on the N. There it is. And then glide one second to where you are. Good. And then down arrow and glide one second to where you are. When down arrow and glide. These are stacked on top because that's just where they were when I copied them across. Defaults to that top left corner. Okay. Keep on going. Down arrow glide. Oh, wrong one. Be careful. Make sure you get the X and Y coordinate version, not the random position. We've used that random one already up here, but we're looking for this glide one second too. When down arrow glide. Okay, and when down arrow glide. So we need to do that for all of our letters. You may have been smart and chosen a shorter word, but I chose the word animation. <laughs> so let's see. We've got random and glide back home. Random and glide back home. 